The wife of the Lagos State Governor, Ibijoke Sonwulu, has charged youth to be patient, disciplined, and be abreast with happenings in their localities in order to make Nigeria great. Ibijoke Sonwulu gave this charge while speaking at a one-day youth sensitization program with the theme, Youth and Moral Values in an Evolving Society, Challenges and Recommendation. Plus TV Lagos State House correspondent Love Ikuko Yedoku tells us more in this report. These are the youths of Nigeria. These are the 143 youth groups represented here at the one-day sensitization program. The program is aimed at sensitizing them on the need to inculcate moral values despite the challenges in Nigeria. While welcoming the youth selected from both the formal and informal sector, Dr. Ibijo Kesawunlu enjoins them to be focused. We know this is the Z generation. Quite a number of the youths rely on the social media for information. But then we also want to encourage you to please keep abreast with what is happening in your country, in your state, in your locality, and be on top of it. In his brief remarks, Lagos State Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat told the youths, frankly, that there was no shortcut to success, but advised them to be solution providers. So there can be reasons to complain. The question is, what are we bringing to the table? People complain around the world, around even the best country in the world. You can see what is happening in America. They are fighting everything, vaccine, no vaccine. So the question is, what do we want to do as a people? But as expository and educative the program might seem, the youths, like Oliver Twist, expected more. I truly believe that knowledge is indeed the wealth of the nation. Then we must actually show it in everything that we do. We must try to encourage today's Nigerian youth to work, get educated, and after acquiring that education, get a good job. Governor Babajide Samulu, who charged the youths to take advantage of various opportunities that are abound in the state, disclosed that the Lagos State Government Employment Trust Fund has given soft loans to over 40 startups. Some people they've given them grants directly, some, some people they've given them businesses, you know, development write-ups, so that they can indeed develop their business to full future. They are under the canopy there. The governor assured that the state will continue to create an enabling environment for youth in governance. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedukun, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.